My next guests are the stars of Finding Ohana, and they are just fantastic. And they have found their way to great fame, some would say, maybe overnight, because director Jude Wing discovered them on Instagram and YouTube and decided to cast them as the lead. Please welcome Kea Payahu, Alex Iono, and the director who discovered them all, Jude Wing. So awesome. So Kea, fast forward before you meet June, you were on a dance competition show, J-Lo, all these famous people just copying your moves, praising you from the world of dance. And then you find yourself acting in a feature film. J-Lo knows your name, and now you're in a film. You are goals, okay? <laughs> Thank you. How does it feel? I mean, all these opportunities that I've got to do from dance has been so amazing. And then being able to go from dancing and doing all this stuff to going to being in a Netflix movie, I mean, it's all so surreal. And it's really just like all big blessings because being a kid, like growing up, I've always wanted to do it. And so getting to actually do it, it feels like such a blessing. And I feel like this whole experience with Finding Ohana couldn't have gone any better. Okay, you're making my heart race with pride. I just love your enthusiasm and, and, and the way you're embracing this with gratitude. Alex, you have been on YouTube, Instagram. I was told you have like some 6 million people follow your mashups of your popular <laughs> music. I mean, when you went on the gram, were you doing it for the likes or were you doing it so that one day you'd end up where you are now? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a little bit older than Kea, so when I started using social media, I was still living in Arizona, and it was really to connect with people um, and not even in the largest scale. And then as social media kind of became this platform in which artists can launch their their music or their talents or whatever art they want, um, I think it just naturally fell and turned into that. Well, it's amazing, Jude, that you discovered them. They, they had already, you know, strong followings, and we hear so much about directors and casting agents looking for the next big stars on social media. How do you balance that with the traditional way of, you know, kids standing in a long line auditioning and using this new technology that brought you two phenomenal stars to this project? You know, Tamron, two things. Um, one, I have to give a shout out to Leslie, who was our casting director and who was already keeping an eye on interesting people on uh, social media. And so, by the way, that's a word of warning. You should be really careful about what you put on social media because for good or for bad, yeah. people are out there paying attention. And so she actually noticed Alex and Kea and was just really loving their energy and spirit and thought they would be perfect as uh, Pili and Iowane, and they were, so. And they are, which is why it's still on the top 10 on Netflix like two <laughs> months later. Kay, I know you're, Hawaii is your hometown. It, it has to be such a source of pride to remind people of the richness of culture, language, all of these things that you, as this young vessel, overnight celebrity, are able to bring to the screen. How does that feel for you? Yeah, I think being from Hawaii, I mean, being Native Hawaiian, it's really important to, like, showcase my culture. And I feel like with this movie, all the casting crew were really careful with how they represented the culture. And they wanted to represent it for something that it actually is. And I'm super grateful that I got to be a part of that opportunity. And being from Hawaii, I mean, I get to say my first ever movie was filmed there. So that's oh. really big blessing. It's It feels so amazing. It's so awesome. Listen, you're in good company when people start comparing you to Goonies. John Wick and Indiana Jones. That is very cool. So congratulations on everything. It's so good to have you on. Thank you.